Why'd you do this, Jonesy? Not so famous people started it on pirate radio. Because you want to be famous? No. I just want to make things better for people. How can you say that when you work for somebody like Sullivan? Someone who will sell drugs to anyone, who uses old needles as a deterrent? I'm not actually employed by Sullivan. I pay him so that I can DJ. Tell him you're joking. He said it gets you good exposure. What, and you believed him? Only the other day he was telling me that some guy from a London radio station got in touch, saying how they like my show. Have you ever seen him? Do you know that he really exists? Listen, to somebody like Sullivan, you're just another addict, and he won't be happy until he's bled you of everything you've got. I suppose we should be grateful that you're only hooked on music. I even bought a mixing desk. The other one was useless. The sound kept bleeding from one channel to another. It cost me nearly a grand. Have you listened to a word I've said? But bleeding, man. It's the bane of a good DJ's life. I just come from your radio station, Mr. Sullivan. It's your brother's song, she's stopping up here. You've already admitted it's an area frequented by drug users. Is that a question or a statement? I've got a number of witness statements claiming that you are operating a network of drug dealers from that building. Yeah, well, there's people that say the earth's flat, but that doesn't make it right, does it? If I was going to push heroin onto the streets, I might well use a place like that as cover. Well, as you seem to know so much about it, then why don't you give it a try? On second thoughts, I mean, maybe you're not quite thick-skinned enough, are you? Okay. Hey, come on, temper, temper. Why did you run from the scene? when you realized you were about to be raided. I didn't know who was chasing me. I thought I was gonna get mugged. Now, look, I've been as helpful as I can, so unless you've got some specific charges, then I really ought to be getting off. Why is he still here? The doc says he's not fit to be moved. Has he said where the staff yet? This raid's been a fiasco from start to finish. Not going well down at the station. Brett Sullivan reckons the pirate radio setup belongs to his brother. We've got about half an hour to find some evidence of his dealing. Otherwise, the custody sergeant's going to have him released. Let me have one more go with this one. You do what you want. I'm beyond caring. Hey, what's eating in, man? He's just frustrated, that's all. You know, this is your last chance. Last chance to do what? To come out of this with any credit. To help us nail Sullivan. You know, a couple of hours ago, we found a dead body. James Creighton. JC's dead. He was about your age, wasn't he? He worked for Sullivan. They were mates. They grew up on the same estate. Sullivan didn't even blink when we told him he was dead. You know, yesterday I was talking to an addict who didn't care whether she was alive or whether she was dead. Her only worry was that she'd run out of body parts to inject herself in. This is the sort of world that you're mixing with. So don't try and tell me that you're not involved. This is just like your mixing desk. No matter how hard you try, your precious life as a DJ is bleeding into Sullivan's drug dealing. It's all right. I did know he was dealing. I heard him bragging on his mobile. But he never said where he keeps the gear. You've got to believe me, man. Right, OK. John's heard Sullivan dealing over the phone, and he's willing to testify in court. The fat man will be well there. Unless we find a snack, it'll be his word against Sullivan's. We'll even get to court. Maybe the heroin's not here. Maybe Sullivan knew we were coming and moved it. Looks that way. We've had the roof tiles down, and the floor's solid. Probably nothing, but you do know that ain't our reward. We had a power cut once, and Sullivan said all the trick switches are hidden back there. I'm not sure how you're supposed to. Give me the torch. Ah, welcome back. I was wondering where you've gone. One last look at your brother's place. You can't blame me for trying. Well, I'd like to say it was a pleasant distraction, but I think I ought to be getting off, don't you? 
You know what? I reckon I've been here long enough to warrant an official apology, at least. You know, it's a waste of police resources, your time, my time, you know. I agree. You know, today didn't really turn out as I expected. We found over 20 of these, each one full of uncut heroin. Every single one of them covered with fingerprints. I wonder who they belong to. Come on, sunshine. Is that? I think so. Look, I know what you're going to say. From now, this is sources. I've got an appointment in half an hour. Good luck. Should have said something earlier. You did the right thing in the end. Sullivan will be charged with importation, intent to supply, and if we can prove that he upped the strength of James Creighton's heroin, then we might get him for murder as well. What next? For me, I mean. Well, I don't know what'll happen over the radio station, but you need to keep your nose clean, whatever happens. You've got your career to think about. Did you listen to the show? Well, uh... Oh, man, what did you think? I'm more, more of a Johnny Cash man myself. Come on. International intrigue and espionage next on BBC One. Jessica Fletcher investigates in Murder, She Wrote.